Hi everyone, in this lecture 4, we will generate a simple structure. First, let's start the JID program. In order to use the JID, we must specify its working directory. In this course, we will use a directory JID data as a working directory. First, in your home directory, type makedir JID data or capital letters. Now, you have your working directory JID data. In order to save your data today, make a subdirectory of JID data lecture 4. Again, mkdir lecture 4. Start your very first JID session by typing JID or small letters. Then check whether you can see the lecture 4 directory in the project browser or not. As of September 19, 2022, the JID looks like this. You can identify four boxes in the bottom. The command line is shown. From the left to the right, you can see the project browser, the project analyzer, and the log window. We need a device structure to be simulated. Let's generate a three-dimensional PN junction. It's actually 1D like along the G direction and its length is 2 micrometer from G equal to 0 to G equal to 2 times 10 to the minus 6. Here, the length is written in the meter scale. Let's assume that the junction appears at g equal to 10 to the minus 6. Then, how can you generate a structure? We have various options, but today we will discuss the simplest one. The memmaker command of the g device will be used. What is the memmaker? Its name was inspired by the game development. In a game, the player plays in the map. The map largely defines the task for fun. In the device simulation, the user works with the device structure. The device structure largely defines the engineering problem. So, I thought that the device structure is an analogy of a map in the game. Therefore, let's make a map. A minimal input file without specifying doping contact information is shown below. In this file, we make a cuboid whose size is 1 micrometer by 1 micrometer by 2 micrometer. After that, two regions P type and N type are assigned. P type, N type. Then you can find that the grammar is very simple in this input file. Yes, because I'm not an expert in a parser, I adopted the simplest grammar I can imagine. Each statement in the G device must have the following form statement spec and body the spec is used to initiate the related c++ object on the other hand the body is used to describe the object in a detailed way for example for the topmost statement thing is the statement. Its spec is type equal to memmaker and name equal to structure. With this spec, 
we can initiate a memmaker type thing. After that, further description is made in its body. In its body, a nested statement, memmaker, is found. Okay, for a while, just leave the input file there. How can you learn the input file and visualize the output file? In order to learn it, right click the input file. Then you will find some options. Click G device. Then you will have pn.cgns as an output file. Right click the output file. Again, you will see options. In this time, click Paraview. Then you will see the generated structure. The figure in the slide shows a structure whose g-directional spacing is 100 nanometer. You can change parameters in your input file to change the structure. That's it for this lecture 4. Now we have a structure. However, there is no doping. The contacts are missing. In the next lecture, we will add them and solve the device. First, the equilibrium solution will be calculated. Thank you and see you later.